is up guys, welcome to another episode of Sample Shopping. These are fast becoming my favorite shows to do because we get to look at a lot of fragrances in a short amount of time. So the episodes are really jam packed with great scents and just getting to choose stuff to pick out before I shell for the bottle is so useful to me and probably saves me a good deal of money. Even though it can be a lot of fun blind buying, it can be dangerous and costly. If you have the pockets for it, have fun and enjoy, I would if I could. But if you don't pick up samples and decants and purchase wisely, you're going to waste a lot of money. And you guys, by this point, should all know that all these videos are sponsored by the Decant Shop, decantshop.com. Cheapest uh, prices, fastest shipping online. And when the, the owner of that site, Adriana, who is just another fantastic person in the world of fragrances that I've been lucky enough to know, when she first came to me with this idea, I was a little nervous. I said, look, I think it's a good idea, and I'm looking for a sponsorship like this, but I'm a real niche fragrance guy, and those are really the only type of scents that I want to do on these shows. And she said, stick by me, and my inventory will grow. And man, has it ever grown. She's got Clive Christian now, Andy Tower, Armani Privé line scents, Penn Halligan's, the different company. She's got Histoire de Parfum coming, La Labo is coming, etc., etc. And what's most exciting to me is how many discontinued and vintage fragrances the shop has. If you guys want to know how the originals of some of your current fragrance favorites like D&G Pour Homme and Fahrenheit and Derby used to smell, get yourself some samples from the Decant shop of the originals. The prices are already the cheapest on the net, but remember coupon code MAX12 will save you 12% of your entire order. Uh, also, when you log on, always look at the top of the screen to see if there's a bigger sale in effect because they run those specials constantly. And now there are e-gift cards that you can give to a friend or significant other for a wedding or as a birthday gift. That's a great present to have someone pick out some scents, uh, especially for people who like fragrances, don't want to venture into the niche world of things. So, you know, get them a card and maybe sit with them and talk them through some of their options online. It's, it really is a great gift. Um, and I've got a lot of samples from the decant shop. Uh, right now because some were delayed by USPS. So I've got like 18 or 19. Uh, so for the next four weeks, we're going to do straight sample shopping on Wednesday or Thursday nights. And let's get into it right now with the four cents for tonight. First up, we have a discontinued uh, fragrance from the Tom Ford Private Blend line. So if you're thinking of picking up a bottle of this on eBay, get yourself a decant of it first. And this is Japan Noir. Uh, let's see if I can get it to focus on the bottle. Yeah. So, Japan Noir, it is called. And obviously, this one means J Black Japan. And your notes on this fragrance are going to be bergamot and a spice bouquet at the top, purple patchouli and Porto Noir at the mid, and the base is going to be made up of jasmine, amber, vetiver, and leather. And there's a relatively uh, new reviewer named Joe Anthony, really good guy. He's got a great channel. And I think this is one of his favorite scents. And Tom Ford has really become a, a favorite house of mine. I, I really like tobacco vanilla. I love black orchid. Uh, I love Tuscan leather and oud wood. So I was really excited to try this. And this is a really different scent than the other Fords. They recently released a fragrance called Plum Japonois uh, from their Orient collection. And I got to smell that uh, yesterday at Bloomingdale's actually. And this doesn't smell similar to that. Uh, a lot of people says it does, but to me it doesn't. I get way more plum uh, with the other one. And this one is like a dark, spicy, sexy scent. I get a lot of smoke and incense with this one. I could see it maybe smelling like the Japanese Buddhist temple. I also get a tinge and just a tinge of soapiness. I've noticed with the private blend scents that all of the scents have very defined and sharp notes. Something fragrances, sometimes fragrances smell like amalgamations of their parts. And sometimes you can pick things out almost sort of separate them. And I like that because you know what you're getting. Japan Noir to me is a good scent. Uh, is it one I bid for or would have picked up when it was still sold? Probably not. I like other ones from the line better. If money were no object, I'd probably own this. Um, I have to sample this one more. This one's gonna really take some time, a little bit more time for me to understand. I'm not in love with it straight off the bat. Uh, next up, we've got uh, an Amawaj scent. This is Reflection Man, okay? And uh, <clears throat> I think as of right now, there's only one other Amawaj at the Decan Shop that I haven't gotten my nose on, which is Interlude Man. I have Honor Man uh, from Decan Shop right now as well. That one will be coming up. We'll do that in a future episode. So with Reflection Man, 
you can get 100 ml of this for around $275 or a 50 ml for around $225, but shop around because you can get deals on Amal watches, as most of you I'm sure know. This one gets compared to Lamal a lot. Uh, so I was really anxious to see if there's anything to that and how it fares to my nose. Top notes on this one are going to be rosemary, pimento, and rose de mai. Middle notes are going to be orris root, jasmine, and neroli. Um, sorry that that cracked out of focus. My bad. Um, I just finished it wrong. And base notes are going to be sandalwood, patchouli, vetiver, and cedar. And guys, uh, I've been rough on Amawaj. So far, only Jubilation um, and, uh, and Seal have been ones that I like. Uh, the rest have seemed simpler than a fragrance that this price should be. Uh, and with those note lists. This isn't the most complex scent ever, but it smells damn good. I see the LaMail comparison, but it's absolutely more refined than LaMail. That doesn't make it better, but it's sort of, to me, more dignified scent, I guess. It's less small and clubby, and the notes are blended in a more gentle manner. I like this one a lot. I definitely get pimento and sandalwood. Uh, also vanilla, definitely. A little bit of a powdery frag. It's just a good smelling cologne and a great scent to get designer heads into niche. Uh, there's nothing intimidating about this fragrance at all. For me, at least, I think as of right now, this one uh, this one might be bottle worthy, guys. I'm not sure, but I need to keep trying it, but I really, really like it so far. Um, next up, we have a favorite of the, uh, of the online freight community. Uh, favorite house, favorite scent, favorite perfumer. And this is Andy Towers' Lair du Desert Marocain. Now, this one's meant to smell like the Moroccan desert. 50 ml of this goes for 125 so very fair uh, niche, niche uh, fragrance pricing, definitely. Uh, I just watched the Fragrance Bros do a number on this, and I was close to buying, buy, blind buying this, but after hearing those two, whose noses I really trust, really not like this, I decided to get a decamp. Notes on this one are going to be coriander, pettigrain, lemon, bergamot, cystus, bourbon, geranium, cedarwood, vetiver, vanilla, patchouli, and amber gray. Now, I understand why they didn't like this, and I can see how someone could be turned off uh, by this, but this is so staying on my buy list. It, I mean, it might seem harsh to some people. To me, it seems very authentic. I've never been to a Moroccan desert, okay? But when I smelled this for the first time, I said, wow, this smells like a place, like an actual place. A place I probably haven't been, but a place. I get vanilla. To me, it smells like an open window um, in, a, in an area with some heavy air, maybe bread baking, maybe some lemon tea, some incense. The desert air is wafting through my window. It's smoky. It's rich. I think the amber green here works really well and makes it smell clean. Even though it's got some strong funk at the top, it just works. And this is definitely, definitely staying on my buy list. I really like this juice, guys. I don't find it harsh at the top. I find it heavy, which is different than harsh, obviously. I think Tower is really on the money with the name of this fragrance. And I think the price point is ridiculous. It's just off the hook. $125, you go to Min, you get the discount, uh, the Frankenator discount. You're paying about you know close to 100 bucks for this fragrance. And, and it's a pretty incredible. This is a scent that I'm probably gonna push up on my buy list, honestly. Uh, I really like this shit. I'll probably get it by the end of the year. Uh, you know, maybe next time I'm at Min, uh, I think I'm gonna go there pretty soon to get a Mansara scent. I might just, just bag this there because uh, I really am a big fan of this scent. This is a big winner with me, guys. I, I really like this. This is my first tower scent that I smell, and this is a great introduction um, to, to any towers line. Now, the next one, Jesus Christ, was I excited to get my nose on this, guys. I'm not gonna fraud at all. Um, can you read that? Yeah, okay. This is Creed's Windsor, okay? And um, <laughs> you guys probably know, those who are real fans of my show, um, that I have um, a sort of a love-hate relationship with Creed. Uh, I really like some of their scents, and I think some are just ridiculously overpriced, and I can't understand why anyone would pay uh, what they pay for them. Now with this one, it's very hard to get a full flacone of this unless you're really ready to pay a steep price on eBay or Lewis at the Creed store really likes you and hooks you up. 
Uh, Creed makes a lot of crazy delusional claims, and this one is no different. If they're to be believed, they'll tell you that this fragrance was created in 1936 uh, for King Edward VIII, uh, King of England, with ingredients all grown in the British Empire. They also claim that only 320 bottles and 70 flacons made their way to the United States. The top notes on this are English gin, Jamaican lime, and Scottish Highland pine. In the middle, we've got roses, and at the base, we've got bohemian orange, uh, cedar from Canada, and a dab of Australian eucalyptus. So all British Empire uh, ingredients. Uh, it's a bit harder to get a feel for these without the sprayer. You have, sort of have to dab them on, but that works. And guys, this is good stuff, okay? If longevity wasn't as poor as it is on this, I don't get good longevity on this. This is a scent I would consider going out of my way and buying. This is really beautiful stuff. I, I get pine and lime and rose and orange. It's regal. It's royal. That's really the best description uh, for the smell that Windsor gives off. Decant shop has this stuff like 20% cheaper than other shops. I think Perfume Court is charging 150 for 8 mLs of this stuff. Decant's shop is charging 120 Actually, with my discount, knock off another 14 or $15. So we're talking $105. Uh, so almost 33% cheaper. Think about that. And the reason that I researched this so thoroughly is because off of a first impression, I wanted to own this, okay? And I haven't, um, I actually did uh, uh, put this on my skin briefly, but the longevity was not good. I, I really got the, the scent that I like out of it, which is that opening for about an hour at the most. Um, but what this is about, guys, is it smells like a fougere, sort of old-style cologne, but it smells like one made for a king with the best ingredients in the world. As I said, it has a royal, sort of piney cleanliness that is just extraordinary, and I saved the best for last here with Windsor. So in order of how much I like these scents, guys, Windsor is at the top, definitely. I don't know if I'll be getting a bottle of it, though. The Desert Merrow Cane, right after that, I will be getting a bottle of that. Then we have Reflection, that's sort of iffy territory. I think I probably will wind up getting a bottle of that after I get Jubilation 25. If I'm not in love with, um, you know, their two newer scents, Beloved Man and Fate Man. You know, if I don't love either of those, my next Animal Watch will probably be, my, actually the only other one I'll probably buy unless Interlude blows me away uh, is Reflection. And then as far as Japan Noir goes, it's a good scent. It's not bad. None of these were bad. This is, I mean, first time I really liked, uh, I think, every scent that I got in this one. But uh, I, I also don't um, don't, uh, don't love Japan Noir, so I probably won't be getting a bottle of that. I might keep sampling it. So I just want to let you guys know, again, we got three more shows of these coming up. Next week, the scents we'll be looking at, um, we're going to be looking at a scent from Frederick Mal first. Then we're going to be looking at a scent from the Armani Vive line. Then we're going to look at two Montal scents. So that will be uh, next week. The week after that, we're going to be looking at a uh, um, an Amouage Atar, one of their Atar scents. Then something from Mona de Oreo. Then um, we're going to be looking at um, an Escada discontinued scent. Um, and that'll and, and, oh yeah and then we're going to be uh looking at another on wash scent honor honor men and then a Serge Luton scent and then the final week of this run of the decant uh, shop shows we're going to be looking at something from slumber house then something from creed then something from the different company and uh then another montage scent and then an angel men flanker uh, one that's a little bit more difficult to get your hands on than Pure Mold or Pure Van. You guys can probably already guess it. So that is the next four weeks, basically, guys. The next three weeks of these shows. Uh, stay tuned for a niche review this weekend. This weekend, I'm going to have a review of a uh, Dior Privé uh, line scent and uh, another episode of uh, Sample Shopping next week and a, uh, and, a, and a another niche fragrance review for you from Serge Vuitton's next weekend. So thank you all so much for watching. DecantShop.com, you know what it is. Get those e-gift e uh, cards for your significant others and loved ones. I am Maximilian. Awesome.